there's some things Steph Curry doesn't tell anyone. Near-death car crashes, weird pre-game rituals, and a disease that's making him go blind. But until this week, no one knew that Steph Curry has been battling deteriorating eyesight. These are 20 things you didn't know about Steph Curry. And for number 20, there's no way you knew that. Before the NBA, Steph Curry was a YouTuber. Yeah, in 2007, while Steph was in college, him and his boys started a YouTube channel where they posted nothing but bangers. Their Sunday brunch is golden rule, and last night's girl thinks you're a tool. Oh, wow, that looks so tasty. I got a little something right oh, here. Oh. Hey, can I, I buy I want to me? Damn, our boy was a YouTube star. But these days, he's on a whole new level. In fact, for number 19, I bet you didn't know that the most expensive basketball card in the world is of Steph Curry. This is Steph's rookie logo man. And with only one of these cards in existence, in 2021, it was sold for a ridiculous $5.9 million. The most a basketball card has ever sold for. But hey man, Steph Curry's worth it. Cause for number 18, you probably didn't know that Steph is so good at basketball that he literally broke NBA 2K. See, in 2015, Steph was shooting an insane 45% from three. So when developers put him in 2K16, his in-game character was hitting half-court bombs like it was nothing, making gamers around the world freak out. From deep three-point range. Man, this game broken! This game broken! It's broken! Now, Steph may have been terrorizing 2K, but he's done some people even worse. Cause for number 17, there's no way you knew that. Steph cost Under Armour hundreds of millions of dollars. In 2016, Steph was hyping up his latest signature sneaker. The Curry 3s, thinking they'd be the hottest shoe the game's ever seen. But when fans got their first look, they hated them, calling the shoes ugly, overpriced, and overrated. And when the Curry 3s finally dropped, the CEO of Foot Locker admitted that the shoes were selling terribly. The Foot Locker CEO, Dick Johnson, said Friday, uh, it's softer than expected, and that sent the shares tumbling. Under Armour lost about $600 million in market value. Yeah. They lost 600 million. That is just crazy. But what's even crazier is number 16. Cause you may not have known that. Steph has the weirdest training routine in NBA history. See, back in 2012, Steph wanted to take his game to another level. So he adopted an experimental training routine that is just weird. From wearing strobe light -like goggles to jumping in sensory deprivation tanks, Steph was looking like a damn science experiment. But it worked because he became quicker and more accurate on the court, averaging eight more points per game the very next season. Man, when it comes to being the best, this man Steph will stop at nothing. But believe it or not, for number 15, there's one thing that Steph's even better at than basketball, singing. James, I noticed that you think you can sing, but this is the remix with Stephen Curry. That shit's beautiful, man. But uh, I can't say the same for number 14, because you probably never knew that. Steph Curry almost died. See, in 2018, Steph was behind the wheel of his Porsche Panamera, cruising down Highway 24 in Oakland, when all of a sudden, a silver Lexus cut in front and ran him off the freeway. In the blink of an eye, Steph's car was totaled, leaving him stranded on the side of the highway. But luckily, Everyone walked away from the scene with no injuries, and Steph was just grateful to be alive. Man, something like that will really make you appreciate life. And that's exactly why in number 13, Steph is spending millions of dollars saving an entire city. See, in 2019, Steph launched the Eat Learn Play Foundation, a charity that is giving back to the kids of Golden State. And from donating 100,000 books, to serving 16 million meals, Eat, Learn, Play is changing lives. And in just a couple of years, Steph's charity has already raised over $15 million, all for the kids of Oakland. Damn, Steph stays giving back. Now for number 12, 
you probably knew that Steph broke the record for the most threes of all time. But what you didn't know is that he turned the shoes he wore that night into his very own NFT. The Curry Genesis flows. And at $333 each, these NFTs sold out, raising over a million dollars, all for charity. Man, this dude's stuff is full of surprises. In fact, for number 11, I bet you didn't know that five-year-old Steph was in a Burger King commercial. Hey, Dad. Yeah. How'd you get to be so big? I guess I just grew that way. What's it take to be a great basketball player like you? Well, you really got to want it. You got to taste it. You got to be able to smell it. I mean, you really got to be hungry for it. Yeah, can we go to Burger King? I am really hungry. From Burger King to Three Point King. Man. But all right, dog, we're entering the top 10. So things are about to get even crazier because I bet you didn't know that Steph Curry, the greatest shooter in NBA history, might go blind. Yeah. For the first 10 years of his career, everything seemed fine. Steph was hitting threes, making passes, and becoming a goat. But in 2019, he discovered something horrifying. Curry has a genetic disease called keratoconus. About one in 2,000 people suffer from it. The reason I found out I couldn't see very well is because our GM, Bob Myers, saw me on TV one time just squinting, looking at the scoreboard, and he came up and asked me, he's like, can you actually see? And I was like, no, I just see the color orange really well. This disease, it makes your vision worse and worse, has no cure, and if left untreated, can leave you blind. So the only thing Steph could do was get contacts and hope his eyesight doesn't get any worse. But hey, at least he's got people he can lean on. Like in number nine, because I don't think you knew that Steph's biggest fan is LeBron James. See, back in 2008, LeBron was watching Steph ball out in the NCAA tournament, and he was so impressed that after the game, he introduced himself and gave Steph the gift of a lifetime. Uh, I don't know how people knew this. He gave me a jersey when I was in high school. I remember when I was in college my, at Davidson, and I still have it on the wall at my <laughs> parents' house back in Charlotte. <laughs> wow. And he wrote it like to the king of basketball in, uh, in North Carolina uh, and signed it and all that. Man. It's great to see Steph get the love that he deserves. Because uh, the guy has done a lot for his community. In fact, for number eight, I bet you had no idea that Steph is the first NBA player to design shoes for girls. See, back in 2018, Steph got a letter in the mail that broke his heart. It was a nine-year-old fan upset that his latest signature shoe wasn't made in girl sizes. And when Steph read that, he knew he had to make things right. So he got in touch with the girl's family teamed up with Under Armour to design her very own signature shoe. It's um, two girls playing basketball and then encouraging words behind it. You sparked a, a nice big movement, for sure, and uh, you get to represent it together. That's it. <laughs> Look at Curry, man, out here grabbing W's. But number seven was a massive L, because there's no way you knew that. Steph got banned from buying his own sports team. In 2018, Steph saw that his favorite NFL team, the Carolina Panthers, were up for sale. So he started making some calls and reaching out to investors, until eventually he teamed up with Diddy and NBA owner Michael Rubin to put together an offer to buy the Panthers for $2 billion. And with a number like that, it seemed like the deal was done. But at the very last second, the deal was shut down by none other than the NBA. Because apparently, they thought an active player buying a team with an NBA owner was a conflict of interest. So with that, the team was sold to another group, leaving Steph's dreams crushed. Now for number six, I bet you didn't know that Steph designed one of the ugliest cars in the world. Yeah. In 2019, the people at Infinity hired Steph to shoot a car commercial. And the idea behind the ad was that Steph would design the ugliest car he could think of just to prank his friend. You know, my relationship obviously with Infinity goes back a couple years now, and uh, they gave me the opportunity to put my fingerprint on the concept car. Mm -hmm. so, Let's see what you're talking about. Here we go. Whoa. This joint right here. Yo. Some... This the future for real. Now look, clearly, Steph's a creative. 
But you definitely didn't know about his latest project. Cause for number five, Steph is creating his very own cartoon. Yeah, you might have seen Steph appear in an episode of Family Guy, but what you probably missed is that in 2020, Steph announced he was teaming up with Family Guy creator Seth MacFarlane to reboot the classic 70s sitcom, Good Times. Seth MacFarlane? Steph Curry? Good Times reboot? Huh? I asked myself the same questions, but we doing it. We wanted to bring the Good Times show back and bring some of the hilarity, some of the uh, good conversations, and animate it. So who better to work with than Seth MacFarlane? And uh, there's no official release date yet, but it's been in production for a couple of years. So hopefully it comes out pretty soon. But in the meantime, we gotta talk about number four. See, there's one sport that Steph loves a little too much, golf. The g game of golf just gets under my skin. Like uh, no matter how well you played, you always feel like you can play better. Very similar to basketball, so. If I'm on the bench, dead ball or something, a swing tip might pop up in my head. It's not good. I'm haunted by it. That's what my wife says, I'm haunted. You know, I'm starting to think Steph's got problems. Uh, but anyways, we're entering the top three. So, you're about to see a whole new side of Steph you've never seen before. Cause uh, I bet you didn't know about the time that Steph sparked a worldwide controversy. See, back in 2018, Steph was on an episode of Winging It with Vince Carter and some friends. And it was here that out of nowhere, Steph dropped a bombshell. We ever been to the moon? Nope. Nope. They gonna come get us, I don't think so either. <laughs> Elon Musk is the closest Sorry, I thing the we got. They ain't been on the moon. You don't think so? Mm -mm. Yeah, Steph said we've never been to the moon, sending the internet into a frenzy. Was Steph Curry joking when he said he doesn't believe Americans landed on the moon? I don't think this is funny, actually. Like, we can laugh at it, but I don't think it's funny. It happened. The moon landing happened. And when the people over in NASA heard, well, uh, they were pissed. So they called up Steph and had a little conversation. It's been one of those kind of situations where I've had President Obama reach out. I've had uh, yourself, uh, one other astronaut that we're the one that educated me on how significant you know the, the moon landing was obviously it was real but steph didn't stop there because shortly after he put his money where his mouth was teaming up with under armor to create custom moon landing shoes with all the proceeds going to support science education yeah steph might have screwed up but he clearly has a heart of gold that's why for number two you might not have known that steph became best friends with obama and it started in 2015 when Steph met Obama at a White House charity event. And from the jump, the two hit it off. So much that over the next few years, they became best friends. From doing commercials, giving speeches, hell, even golfing together. And these days, Steph and Obama are like brothers. In fact, in 2022, right after Steph won his fourth ring, the very first person to call him up was none other than Obama. <laughs> oh, I wish I, I wish I could say that. I wish I could say that on TV. Oh, man. Man, this dude Steph has got it all. And he's done all kinds of incredible things. But what if I told you that all of these moments should have never happened? Because the number one thing you didn't know about Steph Curry is that the Golden State Warriors almost traded him. See, early in his career, Steph was showing a lot of potential, winning Rookie of the Month three times, making the All-Rookie First Team. Hell, he even won the Sportsmanship Award. But in 2012, things took a turn for the worse, because Steph was constantly getting hurt, needing two ankle surgeries and missing over half of his third season. So the executives at Golden State started wondering, is Steph Curry really that guy? And when they got a call from the Bucks asking to trade for Steph Curry, they had their finger on the trigger, ready to get rid of him if the price was right. But at the very last second, one man stepped in to save the day, Steph's coach, Mark Jackson. So uh, Coach Jackson pulled me out at the locker room. He was like, yo, I said, I'll let you know, like they wanted you in the trade. But I kind of stepped in too and said, 
I'm going to give you the keys. I felt like I really believe in you. We just got to get you healthy. And that's what the rest of the season is going to be about. So, you know, his line don't make me a liar. <laughs> <laughs> don't make me a liar. <laughs> um, and so that I, I, that was when it was like, Trey happened and like, oh, by the way, that could have been you type vibe all at the same time. Um, crazy, crazy day. I'll never forget that that moment. For Steph, this was the day that changed everything. Because instead of trading him, the Warriors gave Steph his biggest contract yet, worth $44 million. So with the support of the franchise behind him, Steph put the entire NBA on notice. And over the next few years, he turned the Warriors franchise into a dynasty, winning four rings, and he's not done yet. Just imagine if Steph played for the Bucks instead of the Warriors. That's crazy. But to be honest, we've seen some moments that aren't just crazy, they're flat out nuts. Uh, like one time, Shaq almost killed someone, and another, LeBron, caused an entire riot. Yeah, and if all that sounds crazy, you need to click on this video right here, because these are the 20 craziest moments in NBA history. So what are you doing, man? This video's over. So, uh, click it. <laughs>